Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we together are going to learn how we can perform extrusion in Revit. To illustrate this command, here we're gonna model a tool chair. I click this new to create a new project and we have this architecture template here. It's what we want now. So we just click on this OK. This is our new project. Before going further, let's check the unit for that I type UN and just write to this length. We see this 1, 2, 3, 5 mm. That means that the unit of this project is CMM. So let's click over here on this little arrow over here and we have here all units available for now let's select the centimeters and click this ok and again on this ok so our project is here so our new project is here in this architecture menu we have this build tab and over here is the component tool just click on it and we have two options place a component and model in place now let's select this model in place and we have this family category and parameters dialog box in which first we see is filter list here we have this arrow just click on it we have other options here architecture structure mechanical electrical and piping the default is architecture and it's what we want now so we leave it as it is just below it we have a box over here among which we sell generic model and we click this ok over here here in this box we have to provide a name for now let's return this default one and we click this ok in the create menu we have this extrusion blend revolve and everything our objective is to perform the extrusion command so we let's click on it and then we are directed to modify create extrusion menu and over here in this dot tab we have many tools among which we take this line and we draw a line of 60 centimeter in length and continue drawing a square now we have created a square of side length 60 centimeter here we have this depth that is 25 that means 25 centimeter but it's too big because right now we are creating the seed which is about 2.5 or 2 centimeter in thickness so now let's change it into 2 centimeter okay now click on this tick over here that's the finish edit mode we have another tick over here named finish model but never click on that until and unless you finish your model here in this tutorial we are creating a stool chair and we finished only the seat and all the legs are about to begin so we don't click over this tick and we leave it as it is now let's just see how it looks for that we go to the view menu and we take this default 3d and here it is this is our seating and this is the thickness and it's a two centimeter if you want to measure that then just go to annotate and then take this aligned option but you see it's not working here for your aligned dimension to work here you have to change the work plane so i again go to create a menu and under this work plane tab i click on the set work plane tool click on it and then on this pick a plane and then on this ok and you pick this plane now this is the work plane now i go to annotate menu take the align dimension and now it works the thickness is now here it's two centimeter it's just i showed you how dimension works here since we don't want it here we just delete it now let's go back to level one it's here let's once again go to create extrusion and start to draw the first leg it's a square of side seven centimeter you see here in this properties browser extrusion starts at 0 0 and ends at 2 but since our leg height is 45 let's put 45 here that's for 45 centimeter let's once again go to view menu to see how it looks so click on this default 3d and it's here you see here in this figure the seat and the leg are in a kind of merge state to change it we go to this visual styles and we select this wireframe when you select the seat and go to properties browser you can see extrusion start is at 0 0 and ends at 2 that's 2 centimeter and you see here the work plane is level 1 what that means is that everything described here like extrusion start and extrusion ends etc corresponds to level 1 you see our chair is in an inverted posture so we have to raise this seat up let's do that now first go to any of the elevational views let's select this east elevation and see here let's zoom in a bit now you select the seat you see a constraint here dissociate work plane let's uncheck it and now you dissociate it you are sitting from level one that was its work plane now we take the move tool and move it from bottom to top like this there is another way through which we can do the same thing for that let's revert to the earlier stage and it's here first dimension the leg and you see it's 45 centimeter then go to properties browser change extrusion start from 0 to 45 that's on the top of the leg and extrusion end to 47 okay now it's set it upside we don't want this dimension here anymore so let's delete it now let's go to view menu default 3d let's bring this orbit 
Let's rotate it and here it is and it's perfect. Now change the visual style to wireframe. Then again go to level 1, copy the leg to all corners and here our chair is completed. Since at this point we have finished everything regarding the making of our stool chair, it's the time to click on this finished model. That's this green tick over here and our task is over. Now it's a single object and if you click on it, everything will be selected as a single one. Suppose you want to make a circular opening on the seat, what will you do? First you select the object, then you will be redirected to modify generic models menu. Then under model tab, you have this edit in place tool, click on it. Then you will be brought to modify tab and then you will notify that your object got deselected. At this point, you need to select the component you want to modify. Here in this case, the component that is needed to be modified is the seat. So let's just select it. Now the modify extrusion menu will be open and you need to click on edit extrusion tool in the mod tab. Now the modify extrusion edit extrusion menu will be opened and under the draw tab you have so many tools like line, rectangle, circle, arc etc. Take the appropriate one and do whatever you want and make necessary changes. Here I take the circle tool and draw a circle on the seat. After that I click on this finish edit mode. Then I click on this finish model green tick to finish this modeling. And finally this is our stool chair. That's all with this tutorial and thanks for watching. If you are new here or haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and share to who you think would like.